Hey guys, and welcome back to Overblood. When we last left off, we found out that Millie apparently was a scientist, which we kind of already gathered from um, the cutscene that we had a couple videos ago. Uh, also, our friend here appears to be a clone or something and intentionally infected with the virus to create super soldiers. Now, right, okay, so... <sighs> You mean to tell me that the military has interfere, intervened, I should say, on a pharmaceutical company that is trying to make people stronger, more powerful, healthier, resistant to disease, uh, have more stamina, you know, in positive ways, uh, which absolutely has great military applications on its own merit. And the military came in and said, nah, nah, fam, scrap that shit. We want obedient, brain-eating zombies. Because obedient, brain-eating zombies is apparently better than standard thinking soldiers that are stronger and smarter and... Okay. Hey! Typical 90s cheese. And I love it. Okay, anyway. Oh, fuck me. What, what, what did I... What? Is... Oh, fuck. I was going to say, what did I do? I switched characters. Like a tool belt. Alright, so what do we have here? What's on the floor? Yes, oh, of course. Of course, we have to crouch. Iron rods. Okay. They may be useful. Yeah, maybe. Uh, anything on this desk? Apparently nothing here. Anything under the desk? Because we know what this game's like. Okay, let's finger bang our way over here. Uh, stun gun. Looks like a wrench to me, but... Okay. I'm glad I found this. Yeah, what? High voltage device that stuns its victims for a period of time. Okay. Uh... Cool. Uh, I guess set phases to stun then. Right, is there anything over in the bed? Have a little look. Nothing here. Nothing under Millie's bed? No? Probably probably shouldn't look under a, a, a girl's bed, to be honest. Well, I mean, you shouldn't look under anybody's bed, really. Uh, just to save yourself emotional damage, really. Um, you know. Okay. So, what's here? Another door that we can open. Nice. No gribbly monsters in here. No zombros. Ooh. Another clip. We've got like three of those now. Really does pay to search everywhere, I guess. But uh, apart from potentially, according to a friend, using that ammo on the final boss... I I don't know. I don't know how that really works. Now, he didn't ruin anything for me, but he said he's pretty sure that um, there's a boss fight or something at the end. I don't know. Makes sense, I guess. All right, let's have a little look in here. Lock from the other side. Of course it is. We can go in this one, though. I do like how rare enemies are in this game. It just adds a little bit more... Nothing under this bed. Adds uh, a little bit more excitement, I guess. Ooh. Not sure what that's all about. Nothing. Stop flipping me off, dude. The metal grate is loose. Oh. Just, you just picked that whole thing up. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess. Look sturdy. I can use this. I should wait till Millie's here. Yeah. Alright. So, I guess we're going to use those metal rods and a grate for her to stand on? I guess? Does that make sense? I mean, kind of. It doesn't open. Alright. Okay, I think we've checked all these rooms. Uh, I don't think we can go through... Oh, we can go through this one. 
Ooh. Oh, right. This is uh, the room Millie's stuck in. Of course it is. Right. Don't want to get too close to that fucking thing. Um... It will fall if we put this down. Of course it will. We need something to support it. So, we've got 30 rounds, which is pretty good. Uh, right, so we've got those. Oh, that looks safe. Millie can't get across with this. You think? You absolutely think? Jesus. Right, I'm going to save that as a screenshot. Wait, there's now two of them? We had two of those in our back pocket? Dude. I mean... Millie, come here. Okay. You've got to explain something to me. <clears throat> Why is your name on this report? Tell me. I... I don't know. You must have written this report. Why else would your name be on it? It says the virus destroys the subject's memory, but Millie, you were infected, and you still remember. Are you lying to me? Do you remember this letter? Do you know what this virus is or where we are? Tell me. You know what's going on here, don't you? No, I don't. I don't remember anything. Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to doubt you. Ooh, she's a liar. Ooh. That's interesting. Zeus, you fool! Why didn't you destroy Millie's letter? I am a computer. I cannot be a fool. Oh, yeah? It was certainly foolish to let him see that. It is foolish to be concerned over things you cannot change. This information is no use to him. No use? You're not accounting for human emotions. There's no telling what he may do if he finds out the truth about her. He's unstable. What do you suppose he might do when he realizes she helped make him the way he is? An interesting query. It's obvious Millie is one of those who made Raz. If he finds that out... He may attempt to terminate her. Hmm. Um, Raz looks very similar to that guy with a blacked out face. Just, uh, just saying. So, are we a clone of the actual other scientists? That makes sense to me. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe there's more to this plot. Maybe it's a little bit deeper than uh, I was giving it credit for. That's the way we came in. Hmm. Or is this the way we came in? Oh. Hello. I guess we're going to search all these tables. Nothing here. Nothing here. There has to be something here. There has to be. This looks pretty fucking nice, actually, for uh, some kind of canteen. Has to be something here, surely. You're going to tell me that there's absolutely nothing here. Really? Huh. I would have thought there would be some bullets or... Well, I don't know, really, anything. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Alright, well, what have we got? We, we've got chocolate, strawberry, or chocolate. A vending machine is out of order. Because, of course, it is. Damn it, can't I get a fucking coffee anywhere? Salt, vin vegetable, custard. Uh, it's salty. 
I don't care for it too much. Wait, did we try it? It's a vegetable flavor. Sounds healthy. Yeah, if these things sound healthy, they're probably not. It's custard flavor. I don't care for it too much. So he likes the Soylent Green. All right. Noted. Um, what else do we have? Does he comment on this stuff? It's strawberry flavor. Sounds good. The machine dispenses chocolate. Looks like it's broken. Okay, so not all the machines are broken. Got ya. A beverage machine. Too bad it's out of order. So we can get ourselves a chocolate beverage, which is fine. I'd rather a fucking coffee, but I guess we can't have everything. Uh, so, nothing in the canteen. Okay, interesting. Uh, now, where was that? No, it's this way, wasn't it? Let's go and have a little look down here. Apparently, we could. It's locked from the other side. Bullshit! Where was that room that we peeled up two massive, heavy grates off the floor? Is it here? Alright. Oh, Jesus. Step away from the fucking grate. Millie? We're going in. Apparently. Okay. It's so dark. Where's the exit? Uh, yeah. Point that finger somewhere else, please, Millie. It's so dark. Yeah, it is dark. Jesus. Okay. Well, we've got some light over here. Uh, okay. I bet this comes up into another room, doesn't it? These are all like connected rooms. Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, hello. The electronic lock is jam. The key is broken in the lock. We need to break it with a powerful electric charge. Gee, I wonder. Could it possibly be the gun? Nah. Let's jam another key in it. That will cause a spark, right? Jesus. That's quite a stun gun. Incredible. Ooh, a burner. This thing can burn through metal. Okay. This is a small blowtorch. It can cut through some types of metal. Yeah, some types of metal. See, not quite as useful as our, uh, you know, laser knife that we had. All right, let's go back down. See if we can find any other uh, places to jump up and explore. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. There's another hall on the other side. Yes. Looks like it. Does that say another hole or another hall? There are halls on the left and right. Oh. Okay. It's a dead end. Yeah, I can see that much, Raz. So, I guess... Can you get out under here? We need to get this grate off. Right, so that's what we need to cut with our torch. Uh, that... Is that an, a death pit? Not sure if this is actually a death pit. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Ah. Right. So... We don't want to go through the grate, because that's obviously the way to go. <clears throat> what have we got here? Nothing here. Are you sure? I guess there really is nothing there. Anything under the bed? Nothing here. Are you sure? Really? Positive. 
Why would we be able to climb up here if there's nothing here? That makes no sense. What about through here? Where does... Ah, another computer. Right, let's have a little look. Nothing under here. Uh, uh, one second, guys. I've got a message that I need to answer. Right, so we've got a computer in here. Uh, did we search under everything for stuff? Let's have a look. Millie, it's broken. What's... Oh. Compact data disk found. Okay, it's a video media disc. We'll, if we check its data, we might find out what happened here. Okay, it's impossible to check the disc's data with this terminal. Does that mean we have to go back to Millie's computer? If I can just get out of Millie. Spending a lot of time inside Millie, apparently. Don't think about that too much. All right. Uh, well, let's see if we... Ah, it's broken. Can't open it. Uh, right. Let's see if we can get back into the main hallway and play with Millie's computer. <clears throat> Good. The door lock is disengaged. Excellente. Cool. So hopefully we can go have a fiddle with Millie's computer and find out what's on this disc. Is this her room? I can't remember. I thought these were cells, but apparently not. Apparently this is the living accommodation. Ah, there's her machine. The item has no... Really? What's going on here? Millie knows more than she's telling me. She definitely does, dude. She definitely does. I don't believe anything about this. Uh, well, Millie already knows that she knows more because she's monologued it to herself. So, eh? Okay. Whatever. Right, uh, let's go back into the tunnels. Yeah, she's literally monologued to herself about how the virus is spreading and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, <laughs> not really sure why she's like, I don't believe any of this. What do you mean? You know you're it. You know you're involved in this project. You've literally said as much. Stop bullshitting yourself and us, Millie. Come on. Have a fucking word for yourself. Right, I think we've been everywhere now. Been down there. Yeah, I think we have. Uh, let's actually put a proper save down. Because we haven't done that for a while. And save states are only so useful when you have fucking butter fingers. I'm just saying. Even if this does take 7,000 years. Uh, right, let's just drop it there. Channel 3. Okay. Funny enough, this is one of those games that I really thought I was going to suffer through and uh, not really enjoy. But I haven't actually, since I've started playing this, I haven't played anything else. I, oh. It's bolted. Oh, okay. I was not prepared for that it's bolted okay there must be another uh room that we haven't been in here then it's bolted right we can't jump over there i'm guessing looks like we're underneath the destroyed floor doesn't look like we can pass through here no uh we've okay so where have we been we've been up there there isn't another corridor this way. 
What else have we got? We've got that one that's bolted. There's nothing that way. What else? That one. And that one. Did we go both of these? I can't remember. Let's try them. Uh, let's have a little look, shall we? Is uh, there no tools or anything down here? It doesn't look like it. There must be one of these rooms that we've missed. I guess. Stop flipping us all off, please. Nothing? No. Nope. Now, is this door broken? No, this door is not actually broken. Curious. Okay, at least we can go back through this door. It's not one of those ones that only works one way. You know, the shit doors. Hmm. Okay, so. Have we been up this one? Whoop! Ah, uh, this is the one with the broken box. Okay. Is there anything else in the broken box? No? Unfortunate. Right, so now we've unlocked this door too. Unfortunate. Right. So doesn't open so I don't think there's any other doors down below that we haven't been through yeah that's the door with the two rooms nothing here okay So that's the one with the computer. I'm trying to think, is there a room? There is a room with the computer. It was back across that broken fucking... It's broken, can't open it. It was back across that bridge, wasn't it? I wonder if we can stick the disc in there. Let's have a little look, shall we? And if not, I'll do some running around off camera. That's if we even can go back, to be honest. Can't see why not. No, we can. Cool. That is obviously a very stable, high quality, you know, repair job we've done. Um, this one? No, it's one where we could hear water. So possibly this one. There we go. I remember things about stuff. Okay, so can we use... No. Hmm. Okay, so we are at a little bit of a dead end. But I think I just need to go search everywhere again. So, one second, guys. Okay, so apparently uh, I found another F8 spray behind the, in one of the dispensers. Pretty sure we checked all of those, but hey ho, there we go. What is that down there? Can you grab it? Not unless we bust through the floor. Right, okay guys, uh, <laughs> apparently there is a key card right here. Um, I'll play that again just in case it didn't work. What is work. that down there? Can you grab it? Not unless we bust through the floor. Right, so full disclaimer, I actually had to look this up because I've walked around and walked around and walked around and for some reason, call me crazy, I never would have suspected that you have to duck walk through this corridor up to this particular spot and search. Bearing in mind, right, there's no visual clues here whatsoever uh, and you can't just search it normally. You have to be duck walking. 
Yeah, <laughs> I never would have figured that out, but hey, there we go. 90s game design. Not a fan of that puzzle, to be honest. Now we can head down there. Yeah, that's... We're going to save it, too. That's a little bit moon logic -y for me. There's something down here. Oh, yeah, of course. We're going to have to collapse. So we found the gold key card. Okay, I wonder where we can use this. We did find a room that needed... Um, a key card, didn't we? Alright, we can't actually go through this cave. But, I can't remember where that was. Can we just jump back up? We can. Alright. Good thing that we cut a perfectly square hole. Just where we... Ooh. Just where we needed. Card key. A lot of good it is without its lock. Maybe... Oh. Fight it, Raz! Millie! I can't. I can't go on. I'm losing it, Millie. Raz! Run, Millie! Get away from me! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, that's where that bit's from. Oh! What? What the f Fuck. We're actually we've museated. Okay. Oh shit. I wasn't expecting that. Use the gold key. Oh well, she knew where the lock was. Disengaging door lock. Okay. Cool. Uh, maybe we can use one of those uh, first aid sprays on Raz. Oh. <laughs> oh, taser to the balls. Poor Raz. I will cure you, I promise. You sure? He seems a little bit. The subject has survived the transformation. Oh, a fully gone. integrated biogenic unit. Success. Disaster. He almost killed Millie. Analysis suggests perfect physical transformation, though mental functions would seem to require fine-tuning. Fine-tuning? He's completely out of his mind. Precisely. Just what the military ordered. We must preserve this subject for refinement. I say there is no need. There is no need. I'm not interested in him. I want him dead. It's Millie that I... that we've got to save. He obviously cares about her quite a lot, so he's not super evil McEvil. <sighs> Interesting. Viral extraction mode initiated. Scanning for ARNA virus. Wait, what? It, it, it was that easy? Raz, can you understand me? Um, oh, here's the love music. Yes. Really? Really, what happened? It's going to be okay now. Look. It's cleared up. That's right. Perfectly normal. That was fucking no. convenient. I removed it. You're healed. You removed the virus? Of course. I promised you, didn't I? How did she know how? That was incredibly convenient, um, I must say. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. Right? Uh, I thought nobody had ever survived this before. And um, apparently there is a cure. So... Okay. Okay. Cool. We're no longer a monster. 
does that mean I can't operate this? Does that mean we cannot get infected again? Like, uh, eh? All right. Again, you know, it's 90s. It's campy. Don't think too hard about it, I guess, is the best way to uh, explain it. Right, anyway, let's uh, have a little look around here. Can we not just strap everyone to this thing and, and get them back? This device eliminated the virus. How did Millie know how to operate this? What, you mean you don't just chuck someone in there and push start? I guess not. Okay. Oh, fuck. There are simple looking controls. Fuck's sake. These are simple looking controls, but that still doesn't answer why Millie remember how to operate them. Yeah, she's... Yeah, she's up to something. She's definitely up to something. Um, Millie, is there any, like, medical stuff here that we could use to, to I don't know, fight stuff? Any weapon? Ooh, Allen wrench. Okay, I can open the grate with this. Yeah, I guess we can, question mark. Let's continue. So, I mean, that, that was very silly, uh, you know, but then, uh, I mean, I guess this game's trying to be serious, but it's not really, you know, that serious. Nothing was really serious back then. You know, there was only so much they could convey when you've got characters that walking around flipping each other off and doing finger guns. So, you know, there's that. <clears throat> and it, this game certainly does have a charm to it. They they could have they could have handled that a little bit better though. You know, just 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 a, a, a tad. We, it doesn't open, okay. So yeah, instead of just saying, oh, you're zombified. Oh, by the way, here's a magical machine just over here that will cure you of this uh, zombification. You know, because. Because the plot demanded it. Okay, fine, I can't. That was anus. Yeah, they should have done a little bit more of that. Yeah, that was... Oh, God. Okay. Well, let's move on. So now we have our Allen wrench, so we can continue going. But what I do like is the fact that Raz knows that Millie's bullshitting him. But he doesn't have a lot of choice here. He, he's got to just go with her because she's the only one. I think she's a cl uh, Raz is a clone of that dude. That's my thoughts. That's why he's so intent on having him killed. I guess we'll find out. The plot is more interesting than the average game. I will say that. You know. It's off. Let's see what's on the other side. Yes. Come with me to the other side, Millie. Oh, good. We're dropping a save state. Boss. Okay. Right, let's be very careful here. You're going to lose more than a testicle if you fall off. That wasn't too bad. Oh. Where are we now? Search everything. Search everywhere. I have no idea how long uh, we've been recording for. Due to several um, fragmented <laughs> parts of this video again. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, what's this way? So I guess we've disengaged that lock. But what's through here? Hmm, ah. Okay, well, we're not going that way, I guess. Nothing here. Bullshit! Give me stuff. Give me, like... Oh, hello. Seems... Hang on. 
Seems to be nothing inside. Seems to be pretty light, so we can push it, I guess. Nothing here. Nothing here. Right, okay. Well, let's give this a shove. I don't know what way we're going to be shoving this to. Ugh. Oh, I'm a fucking moron, aren't I? There's nothing behind there. We need to shove it through there. Got you. Hopefully we can reset it by exiting and coming back in. Wow, what a specialist I am. But before we go through there, let's go have a look, see what's on the other side of that other door. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, can we not? I guess we can't pull it. Oh, no, we can. Ah, interesting. So you can unfuck yourself in this game. I approve. You just flip this thing off. Don't worry, Millie, I've got this. You just you just keep finger pistoling your way through. That's okay, Millie. Don't worry about it. Out of the way. I'll, I've good, good old Uncle Raz has this all under control. There we go. Now we can reach the door. Yes, we can. All thanks to Uncle Raz. Good God. Millie, you're not that useful. Well, I mean, I can't really say she's not that useful, can I? Because she saved us, you know, from becoming a horrible zombie monster. So, you know, there's that, I suppose. Uh, now. Oh, right. This is just... Okay. Doesn't actually lead anywhere interesting. Right, uh, we're probably just about out of time now. So we're going to put down a save in this room. Uh, and when we come back, we're going to continue through this door. So, yeah, I mean, we got plot. We found some stuff out. And we got diseased. And we had our mold removed. So we're no longer a mold demon. Which... It's pretty fucking dope. Could have been done significantly better. They, they kind of just glossed over it, you know. Uh, wasn't a lot of thought put into that section of the game. <laughs> but, you know. that I would still say the writing in this game, uh, or the storyline, if you will, is better than a lot of other games. It's not fucking poetry, right? It's not Shakespeare. But it, it does the job. It's okay. I'm still really quite enjoying this game. Um, yeah, and if if you're into your old res uh, old PlayStation One games, I'm gonna say it. I I'm gonna say it. I, I, this is one to play. This is a hidden gem. <gasps> Fuck. This is a hidden. G I, I, every time I say it, it gets a little bit easier to say. This is a hidden gem. It actually is. Fuck. Anyway, till next time, guys.